Hey everyone, hope you're well. It was a pretty packed week for fighting games, so let's dash through it. Arxis has dropped update 1.4 for DNF Duel, which includes the long-awaited Spectre, new system mechanics with Indomitable Spirit and Backward Dodge to give players more defensive options, balancing adjustments, and bug fixes. EVO released a short presentation of the registration numbers per game, revealing some record-breaking digits. This is officially the biggest EVO ever. They also announced a new partnership with streaming service Crunchyroll. Speaking of EVO, Tekken 8 and Mortal Kombat 1 will also be playable there. Your best chance to get some hands-on time with Tekken 8 for now, though, is the closed network test, which is right around the corner with the PlayStation 5 test starting from this Friday on the 21st of July. Rashid, the first Street Fighter VI DLC character, will be playable a few days ahead of his July 24th release at San Diego Comic-Con, which is from July 20th to July 23rd. And speaking of characters from Saudi Arabia, SNK also dropped a trailer for Nudged, the next planned King of Fighters 15 DLC character, who will also be coming this summer. Cloud9 announced the signing of well-known Tekken players Cuddlecore and Yuyu. Cuddlecore already recorded her first win under the new team at Defend the North 2023 over the weekend, so congrats to Cuddle. Cloud9 has already enjoyed some FGC presence, having Super Smash Bros. Melee star Mango in their roster since 2014 but this is certainly an expansion into the more traditional titles of the fighting game space. Optic, one of the oldest eSport organizations in the industry, just announced its second off-season event. This includes a $25,000 Super Smash Bros. Melee singles tournament. The event takes place over September 23rd and 24th, with tickets already on sale. And finally, another installment of the annual Brussels Challenge event took place in Belgium over the weekend and featured an Arc World Tour event for Guilty Gear Strive, won by Slash, and a Tekken World Tour event, won by Wraith. And that's that for this week's fighting game news. Take care all, and have an excellent day.